Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This block is called crisscross. It finishes at 12 inches. Here's the diagram and you'll be happy to know there's not a triangle in sight. We have squares and rectangles in this block. Here are four blocks set block to block and I think that if you alternate the lights and darks in these in the corners and in the sides that you'll get a better look in your quilt if you set these block to block. This is a three by three grid so there are three units across and three down. Here are the units. This is the corner unit and it has a large square, a small square, and a rectangle, two rectangles. So it's here, 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 and here. Then this is the side unit. It's just one patch, the C patch, and it is on the four sides. And then patch A is the center unit. A lot of times the units are all the same size, all the same finished size. In this block they are not. The corner units are different in size than the side units and the center unit. So we'll go through those measurements as we piece the units. There are four different patches. Patch A is a three inch finished square. We cut three and a half inch squares. We need four patches for this blue fabric and one patch for this peach colored fabric. And this goes in the middle here and the blue fabric goes on the outside corners. Patch B is a one and a half by three inch finished rectangle. We cut a three and a half inch by two inch rectangle and we'll need eight of those, eight patches. These are the little bars here. There are two in each corner unit. And patch C is a two, three inch by four and a half inch finished rectangle. We cut five inch by three and a half inch rectangles. I forgot to say that there are AccuQuilt dies that will cut patch A and patch B, but for patch C there aren't any. You can probably use your three and a half inch strip cutter if you like and then trim them down to five inches each. And for patch C we need four of these patches. These are the side units. Patch D is a one and a half inch finished square. We cut two inch squares. Here are the AccuQuilt dies you can use and we need four patches from this peach color fabric. These are the small squares right here. Now let's look at our fabrics. Here's patch A in the two different fabrics. And remember this is the, the outside square of the corner units and this is the center unit. Here are patch B, they go with the corner units. Patch C is the side units and patch D also go with the corner units. So if we separate these out, we just have these. All these pieces are for the corner units. And here's what they'll look like. So we're going to make four of these. We sew these two together and these two, press the seams, and then sew the two rows together. In the instructions, I've broken down the sewing into parts, but basically this is what you'll do, and you'll end up with four of these. Now the corner units are done, and these measure five inches right now, so they finish at four and a half inches. This is, we're going to talk about the grid now. So the corner units will finish at four and a half inches. This is the side unit, and it's three and a half inches right now cut it will finish at three inches. So if we have four and a half plus four and a half is nine, plus three is 12. That's how we get our grid. And it's the same way this way. So this is three and a half inches by three and a half inches. And then we put this here. It's still three and a half inches. So this is how you get your three by three grid, but it's an uneven grid. The, the numbers, the finished numbers, add up to 12 inch finished block this way and this way. 
but it's an uneven grid because this finishes four and a half and this does and this finishes three. It's the same way down this side. We lay the block out like this according to the diagram. We stitch the first row together, the second row, and the third row. Press the seams, then stitch the rows together. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.